let's check out some new pedestrian bump outs that were installed a few months ago. So this is the intersection of Lawrence and Mechanic Streets in New Haven, Connecticut. It's a bit of a weird configuration. Over here we have State Street with this one-way road that goes in to Lawrence Street without any kind of traffic control, so it's free flow. Over here we have Mechanic Street. It's a two-way road. Got a stop sign for Mechanic Street. And then over there we have Lawrence Street coming towards the camera without any traffic control. And then we have Mechanic Street, which is a one way away from the intersection over there. So we got a lot going on here. What was happening is cars were coming off State Street and flying up Lawrence Street, causing a uh, pretty unsafe pedestrian situation here. So some bump outs were installed, uh, mainly to shorten the pedestrian crosswalk distance. So you're spending less time in the road but also to really make pedestrians more visible to drivers at these crosswalks because we do have on-street parking leading right up to the crosswalks and some of those parked cars would block the visibility between pedestrians and drivers. So let's check out each of the corners. First, we have here a bump out. Now, anytime you have on-street parking that ends at a crosswalk, that's always an opportunity to install a bump out shortens the crosswalk distance and physically prevents drivers from parking too close to the crosswalk so you get that visibility, right? So now I'm standing at the edge of the crosswalk, you can clearly see all the oncoming traffic and all the oncoming traffic can see me. Over on this side, there was a bigger bump out installed. This is kind of a wide road just for being one way. So this bump out comes out a lot. You can see the community has uh, installed some beautification here some plants they were a bit better in the summer but this really shortens this crosswalk and increases visibility over here nothing happened on this corner it's not one of the critical corners though and then we'll cross over here and we've got another bump out on this side so this one again prevents parking at the crosswalk we also have this really mature tree right here and so this extra space actually allows the tree roots to breathe a little bit All right then over here we have this other crosswalk and this one is cool this is a combination bump out and bioswale so this is at the low point of the street storm water is flowing down the street this way and comes into here now this catch basin was just in the road before Kind of like that one, pretty standard catch basin. But with this combination, first the water would enter the engineered soil mixture of the bioswale. But if there's too much rain and that soil gets really saturated, then the existing catch basin can act as an overflow. And during the summer, there were some more plants in here, but they've all been cut back for the winter. And that's it. Then you have this final crosswalk, new sidewalk over here. And that's it. Now this section of one-way road for the entire month of September was actually uh, closed down and made into a really cool pedestrian plaza with picnic tables and yard games. Uh, they had some music events. So it's pretty cool to see what you can do with this extra space because this is kind of a, uh, a redundant street. If drivers want to come off of State Street and go up uh, Lawrence Street, they could also just make a right turn up there. It's a pretty sharp turn, but it was possible and people did it for the whole month of September. So this shows if you have some redundant road space, what you can do to make it more activated public space. So that was a pilot program and maybe we'll see it become permanent in the future. Um, but these bump outs were done just as part of routine sidewalk repair work. And the community has seemed uh, to really love them. And it's a solution that could be implemented at pretty much any intersection that has on-street parking.